Hello everyone, this is Teacher V and welcome dito sa akin channel. Ang lesson na pag-uusapan natin today ay tungkol pa rin sa measures of position and it's about the quartiles of group data at para ito sa mga grade 10 students natin. Meron na rin akong nagawang playlist or mga videos regarding data sa measures of position for ungrouped data naman. So i-check nyo na lang sa ating grade 10 mathematics playlist. Lalagay ko sa ating description box yung link ng playlist natin. Okay? So now, ito ang ating learning targets. You have to know how to illustrate quartile of group data and compute for quartiles of group data. So, group data na tayo. Kaya, paano nga ba natin ito gagawin? I-recall lang natin na pag sinabi natin quartiles, the score points which divide the distribution into four equal parts. Okay? Pag sinabing quartile, hinahati niya sa apat na equal parts yung ating data or yung ating distribution. Meron tayong first quartile, yung second quartile o yung median, and then yung third quartile. Okay. So ngayon, paano ba tayo magsusolve ng quartile of a group data? We have this formula where LB means the lower boundary of the nth quartile class. Then yung N is the total frequency Yung CFB, cumulative frequency of the class before the nth quartile class. And then yung FQK is the frequency of the nth quartile class. Then yung I, size of class interval. And then yung K natin is nth quartile where N is equal to 1, 2, or 3. So hindi pwedeng 4 and so on hanggang tatlo lang. Kasi sa quartile, hanggang third quartile lang ang pupwede. So paano ba natin mahahanap yung mga yan? So, pakita natin sa pamagitan ng ating mga examples. First, let's find the first quartile and third quartile of the mathematics test scores of 50 students. So, this is our table and you can see that here are the scores and ito yung frequency. So, makikita natin na 50 to 54, isa ang nakakuha, 45 to 49, tatlo yung nakakuha. So, paano natin makukuha yung first quartile and third quartile? So, meron tayong uh, steps na kailangan gawin, step by step, at huwag magmadali kasi pag nagkamali ka ng isa rito, dire-direction na yan. Okay? So, una natin gagawin is we're going to add one column for the less than cumulative frequency. Kailangan kasi natin makuha yung CF na tinatawag, less than cumulative frequency. At paano natin yun makukuha? Okay, so ito yung kaninang scores natin and then ito yung frequency. Para makuha yung cumulative frequency, mag-start tayo sa bottom. Okay, 2. So, ilagay natin dito. Sa dulo is 2. Then, para makuha mo yung kasunod, i-add mo ngayon yung 2 dito sa frequency. 2 plus 6, that is 8. 8 plus 10, that is 18. 18 plus 8, that is 26. 26 plus 12, that is 38. 38 plus 8, 46. 46 plus 3, 49. And 49 plus 1, 50. So, since ang N natin is 50, dapat sa taas, 50 din. So, ganun lang. Pagkatapos, yung lower boundary, ano yung sinasabi yung lower boundary or LB? Ang gagawin lang natin sa lower boundary is we're going to subtract 0 0.5 sa ating lower limits. Ang lower limits natin is yung score, yung una-unang score na binanggit dito sa ating class. 50, 45, 40, yan. Yan yung tinatawag nating lower limits. At para makuha yung lower boundary, minusan mo to ng 0.5. So, 50 minus 0 0.5, 49.5, 44.5, 39.5, 39.5, and so on. So, basta minusan mo lang to ng 0.5 para makuha mo yung lower boundary. Ang interval naman natin is 5. Bakit nasabing 5? Kasi 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So, lima ang interval natin. Alright, so since alam na natin yung cumulative frequency or less than cumulative frequency and then yung lower boundary, pwede na natin ngayon gamitin yung ating formula. So, i-identify na natin. Now, let's find the position of the first quartile using the formula Kn over 4. Ang K natin dito is 1 dahil first quartile. So, 1 times natin sa N. Ang total frequency natin is 50. So, 1 times 50 over 4 is 12. Point 0.5. Ito na ngayon yung magiging reference natin kung ano yung pipiliin natin dun sa ating data. At makikita natin na we need to find the class interval where the 12.5 score is contained. Saan tayo titingin para malaman natin kung saan pasok ang 12.5? 
titingin tayo dun sa less than cumulative frequency column. Dito kayo titingin. Saan pasok dito ang 12.5? So, makikita natin, hindi pwede sa 8. Kasi sa 8, hindi pasok ang 12.5. Sa 26, lagpas na siya. Pero dito sa 18, pasok yung 12.5 na nakuha natin na KN over 4. Kaya ito yung pipiliin nating class. Okay? Yung 25 to 29 na scores. At dito tayo kukuha ng mga values na kailangan natin sa ating formula. Ang lower boundary natin is 24.5 and yung cumulative frequency below na ating quartile class, yun ang kukunin natin dito sa CFB, hindi yung 18. Okay, take note of this kasi maraming nalilito rito or nagkakamali. Hindi natin kukunin yung uh, cumulative frequency na napili natin, kundi yung nasa baba niya. So, ang kukunin natin is yung 8. Pagkatapos, yung ating frequency of the quartile class, first quartile class, is 10. Dito tayo titingin sa frequency niya. And then, yung interval, alam naman natin na yan ay 5. Kasi 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, limang scores yan. Alright. So, since alam na natin yung mga values nila, pwede na natin i-substitute sa ating formula. So, ito yung ating formula. So, ang lower boundary is 24.5 plus. Okay, maging maingat kayo dito ha, kasi marami talaga nagkakamali pag di nyo inayos or di kayo nag-ingat sa pagkocompute. Saan galing ang 12.5? So, yung KN over 4, kinuha na natin kanina, di ba? And lumabas na 12.5. So, pwede na natin i-direct na isulat dyan 12.5. Then, minus yung cumulative frequency below na ating quartile class, first quartile class is 8. So, we have 8 here. Over yung ating F, that is 10. Then, yung ating interval, 5. Unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Yun muna yung isolve natin. 12.5 minus 8, that is 4.5 over 10. Then, saka natin i-multiply sa 5. Okay? So, 0 0.45 times 5, the answer is 2.25. Yung 2.25, pag nakuha na natin, saka mo ngayon i-add dito sa 24.5. So, ang first quartile natin is equal to 26.75. After na makuha natin yung first quartile, let's do the interpretation. So that is the last step. We can say na 25% of the students got a score less than or equal to 26.75. Okay, 25%, di ba ang first quartile, uh, less than uh, 25%, less than or equal to the 25% of the data. Kaya 25% yung nakalagay dyan. Alright? Another, isa pa, kailangan din natin makuha yung third quartile. So, ganun ulit, step 1, gamitin ulit yung formula na KN over 4. So, ang K na natin dito is 3, then times natin sa 50, which is yung N natin, then divide sa 4. The answer is 37.5. So, tingin tayo ulit sa ating data. So, this means we need to find the class interval where the 37.5 score is contained. So, dito tayo ulit titingin sa cumulative frequency. Saan papasok? Yung 37.5. Hindi pwede sa 26, hindi rin pwede sa 46. So, dito siya papasok sa 38. At ang class na pipiliin natin or scores na pipiliin natin is yung 35 to 39. Okay, so since alam na natin, yan yung magiging reference natin para sa ating mga unknown values para sa ating formula. So, ang lower boundary niya is 34.5. So, minusan lang natin ng 0.5, itong 35. Pagkatapos sa ating cumulative frequency below na ating third quartile class is 26. Again, hindi 38, kundi yung nasa baba niya. So, 26. And then, yung frequency na ating third quartile class, that is 12. Tapos, yung ating interval, hindi yan magbabago, 5 lahat yan. Okay. Dito sa ating data lang, ha? So, depende pa rin sa scores or sa data ninyo. Pero dito sa sample ko, ang interval is 5. Okay, now that we have this uh, values, we can now substitute it to our formula. So, ganun pa rin. Ang lower boundary natin is 34.5 plus yung KN over 4. Anong na-compute natin kanina? 37.5. So, nilagay ko na dyan, 37.5. Minus yung ating cumulative frequency below, the third quartile class, that is 26 over yung ating frequency, 12. Then, times natin sa interval, which is 5. 
Again, unahin lagi yung nasa parenthesis muna. So, i-minus mo yung numerator. So, we have 11.5 divided by 12. So, yan. We have 57.5 times over 12. So, minultiply lang natin yung 5 dito sa 11.5. Kaya naging 57.5. Then, divide natin yan. We have 4.79. Pag nakuha na natin yung 4.79, saka mo ngayon i-add dito sa lower boundary, which is yung 34.5. So, the answer of third quartal, is 39.29. So, ilagay na lang natin is two decimal places. So, ang third quartal falls under 39.29. So, punta na tayo sa last part, and that is the interpretation. We can say that, dahil third quartal to, 75%. 75% of the students got a score less than or equal to 39.29. Okay, so ayan, no? kita na natin kung paano tayo magsosolve ng quartals of group data. Again, tandaan lang yung ating formula. Pagkatapos, ayan, pag nakuha na natin yung formula natin, maging maingat lang sa pagsosolve, unahin lagi yung nandun sa parenthesis, then i-time sa interval, saka mo ngayon i-add sa ating lower boundary. Okay, sa susunod na lesson natin, ipakita ko naman sa inyo yung deciles of group data. Kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod. Huwag mo kalimutan i-like at i-share ang video ko para matuto din ang iba, lalo may mga kaklase mo sa mathematics. You can also follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel. See you again and lagi tayong mag-ingat. Bye-bye!